Hello, Brian Knowlton back with another super cool slide reel tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to diagnose a bad condenser fan motor. The first thing that must be done is to turn the thermostat to cool and the temperature setting all the way down. Next, go to the condenser. We will assume that the compressor can be heard running while the condenser fan is not turning. Disconnect the high voltage to the condensing unit. The first thing to test is the capacitor. It may have a dual run capacitor similar to the one shown here, or it may have a single capacitor. If you do not know how to test a capacitor, switch over and watch our tutorial titled Capacitors hyphen How to Test at supercoolslidereel.com. If the capacitor is good and the unit is a heat pump, it will have a defrost control of some type. This one is equipped with a defrost heat pump board. Near the center of the board, look for an area with two wires as shown here. Disconnect one of the wires, set your tester to continuity, test for continuity across the two terminals. If there is continuity, the board is good. Remember this will only be true if the thermostat is calling for cooling. If there is not continuity, the board is bad. Connect the two wires together and restore high voltage if there is not continuity. The fan should now run. If the fan still does not come on, we verify the wires are connected to the contactor properly and the terminals are secure and corrosion free. If everything tests out okay and the motor still does not run, replace the motor. To learn how to do this, watch our tutorial titled Condenser Fan Motor Hyphen Replacement. This concludes our tutorial, but please stay tuned as I introduce you to the most useful tool in the HVAC industry. I'd like to take a minute to introduce you to the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. Historically, technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22, one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully, those days are gone. This one tool will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A and either the superheater subcooling method. The back cover contains required formulas, it has capacitors rules and practices, a wet bulb conversion chart, how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct. It has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation lined metal we've ever seen. The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for ductwork, as well as recommended velocities. And finally, the scanning of this QR code gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. You owe it to yourself, as well as your customers, to own this tool. It's less than $20, including shipping. The Supercool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. Log on to our website and get one today, and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.